So game one between the Panthers and Hurricanes tonight just made history as it went to four overtimes and officially becomes the sixth longest game in NHL history. Let's take a look at how we got there. Late in the first, with the Hurricanes on a two-man advantage, Burns gets the puck at the point, finds Aho down low, and he then feeds Jarvis in the slot as he rips a one-timer past Bobrovsky to get the Hurricanes on the board. Let's pick this one up with just under five minutes to go in the second. Duclair enters the Panther zone on the wing and goes cross-ice to Barkov as he has some space and fires a quick shot which beats Anderson to tie this game up at one. Just over two minutes later, the Panthers are pressing again and looking for another goal. Verhege gets the puck in the corner, skates out to the circle, and rips a quick shot past Anderson to give the Panthers a 2-1 lead. Early in the third, with the Hurricanes on the power play, they execute a nice little passing play that ends with Nason beating Bobrovsky to tie this game up at 2. The game would remain tied after 60 minutes, and we were heading to overtime. Just over two minutes into the first overtime, the Panthers look to end the game as Lomberg beats Anderson from the slot. However, the refs would immediately gather and review the play for a possible goaltender interference. After review, it was determined that there was goaltender interference, and we would play on. With less than 30 seconds to go in the fourth overtime, Burns sends the puck up the boards in his own zone, and Bennett steals it before feeding Kachuk as he rips a quick shot which beats Anderson and gives the Panthers the win as they take a 1-0 series lead. Now, I'm not going to lie, I thought this game was never going to end. Both Bobrovsky and Anderson stood on their heads and made some unbelievable saves tonight to keep this one going. Both teams had some great chances, but they just couldn't end it. A part of me was honestly hoping this game kept going, as it would be cool to see the record of the longest game broken, but the part of me that was exhausted and wanted to go to sleep was happy the game was finally over. I'm very curious to see how this game will affect the series going forward, because think about it, we're in the third round of the playoffs. Both teams have already gone through two series each, and then in just the first game of this series, it goes to four overtimes. They played almost two and a half games in one night. The players have to be absolutely exhausted after this one. Regardless, this was a great game, and I can't wait to see how the rest of the series plays out. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.